Hello everybody and welcome to Pressing Buttons. Uh, we're in the jungle in Spelunky and uh, yeah, last time I made it through the mines rather quickly actually, so we're gonna try and explore these jungle area. Um, I had to generate a new level though, I wasn't, I kind of started over, well I didn't start over, but I used a shortcut because I wasn't able to play continuously where I left off before. So this is completely new uh, level, but it's still a rushing water level, so that's cool. I'm glad it's the same like level. I think it's called a feel or emotion or mood or something. Um, each level there has a chance to generate a random like feeling or whatever. So some of them, like if you remember in the mines, there was the spider level that I got or the dark level. So in this one, there's the water level, which is this one, which basically means that oh bees, fuck. Oh, I didn't die. That's fantastic. Um, this means that at the bottom of the level, there's, if you look down here, oh jeez, I'm gonna get frog raped. Um, ah, jeez. We just piled up. Um, but at the bottom here, there's this, like, giant pool, and down there is just piranhas just ready to take you out. And there should be a giant piranha, actually, named Old Bitey, which is an awesome name. So I'm gonna save this girl. And we're gonna get the fuck out, and I'm not even gonna go down there, because I already got the Viking. The Viking's like down there, like drowning in a coffin, I guess because like Vikings were, um, you know, sailors. But that doesn't mean they can breathe underwater. But whatever. Yeah, he was down at the bottom there, and uh, oh, another water level, two in a row. So yeah, you're probably wondering um, if you even have like watched the if you watched the first episode I did of Spelunky, I called the show, I think I introduced the show as Press the Buttons, and originally I was going to call this whole like segment or series Press the Buttons because of the fact that I thought it sounded cool, and um, just nice and simple and whatever, but it turns out um, that there is a internet blogger who is a very renowned and well-established, oh shit, he's a, he's a very um, established blogger and like kind of like reviewer and you know critic of video games and I felt like it was kind of disrespectful to you know kind of steal his moniker just for this uh this talk through series or whatever and so I, I decided it was I'll just call it pressing buttons and it sounded better anyway so that uh first uh, introduction is an anomaly so just ignore that it says pressing buttons not press the buttons just wanted to clear that up in case anyone was wondering because I kind of just decided it about it on the fly but yeah so ooh let's see if I can access this tongue I want to get tongued by a giant worm which is basically what that is it's like a worm now here's the thing that freaks me out when I first saw this let me just waste a rope to get back up here when I first saw this thing I thought it was like a spider egg sack or some kind of disgusting you know, egg sack of some sort, like an alien thing. Well, it's actually like a tongue sticking out of the wall, and you're like stuck on this salivating, disgusting, bulbous, pulsating tongue that's just waiting. Like, and when you think of that, it's like so disgusting. It's like a giant tumor, like a sack of just nastiness. So, what you what you do is you get a, a damsel. It doesn't matter which one. You just put it. You jump up here and you hit down an X to drop the damsel. And then damsel running, I guess, like gets the worm going and it gets all like excited and then it swallows you like whole. And you go into this bonus level and I don't know why I'm not showing you. Probably because I don't know where the damsel is, but um, if I can get a chance, I'll show it to you. But that's how you unlock Super Meat Boy. And um, it's a really hard level. I barely made it through it. Um, I probably tried 20 times, maybe even more. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with making it out of the level with four life even if I didn't get to show you the cave level. Well, I, basically, if you go in the cave level and you aren't, like, in your stride or whatever, so to speak, then you're basically going to die. You're throwing away your, your uh, you know, your chance at getting through the area. So I'm not going to do that unless I am already going to die, basically. So, because I'm feeling pretty good right now, and I, I don't, I don't want to sacrifice my chance at the ice caverns too early, you know? Now, this is, this is fucked up, because... I basically have to get a bomb. Oh shit! Holy fuck. That was so... Okay. Yep. 
Okay, we're just gonna brush that off and continue because that never happened. Welcome to the show, everybody. This is my first attempt. Um, no one, no one saw anything. Okay, so we're gonna throw pots, throw rocks, climb trees, jump on frogs, and uh, throw skulls. Oh god, I hate these. I somehow always fuck up things. Any game where you jump on vines, be it Donkey Kong, be it any, well, I don't know any other games where you jump on vines, but any game, I guess. So basically Donkey Kong and this, I'm going to fuck it up. There's just no doubt. I'm always going to fuck that shit up because it, it takes a very, a very, um, it's, it's timed, you know, like you have to time it just perfectly and I'm just not coordinated enough, I guess, to do the whole vine thing. Now I got better at it over time. Like when I was a kid and I'd play like Donkey Kong 64 or something like that. It was just like hell trying to get to those areas with that you could only access by swinging from vine to vine like Tarzan. Um, now it's not so much of a concern. It's more of just like a, it's about as annoying as like a jumping puzzle or something, I guess, but shit. Every time I get my hopes up and start feeling good, I get eaten by a man. Ooh, retribution. Well, that worked out. Yeah, I get eaten by a man trap and it just, my dreams get shattered in front of me. Monkey fuckers. Take that. Take that seven ton relic of doom. Ugh. I deserve that for talking smack to monkeys that don't really deserve it. They didn't even do anything to me. I've just had some really bad run-ins with monkeys in this game. Um, one time a monkey uh, just jumped me when I was, you know, just walking home. I've never trusted a monkey since. They always jump on your back. Okay, so this is good. This is quickly turning into my worst death montage. Um, you know, uh, that's all right. We're here to have fun. Kick ass. Take names, have fun, possibly, uh, maybe win eventually, maybe be a game. The trees just blow up. Like if one of those blows up at the bottom, it's all it all just goes to hell. Here's what I want to know. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna test this. Oh shit. Okay, that didn't work. I wanted to throw the frog on the tongue and see if it made the worm like disappear. I've never tried that before. You know, that worm is just hanging out there all the time, like, sticking his tongue out. It's like a anteater, but it's, like, going about it all wrong. Rather than, like, actively searching out things, it just kind of sits there like a spider. That can't be effective, especially when, you know, it's, it's going through every level, like, trying to get you to put a damsel on its tongue. And it's like, why isn't it content to just eat you? It has to have the damsel with it as well. It's, like, greedy. Or maybe it's just, like, gluttonous, and it can't, like like sustain enough food so it like has to it can never just take like a cheap meal it has to take like more i don't know either way it's it's really sick and i don't like it let's see what we got i was hoping for a we're in two oh my god i feel like we're in the last level and we're only on the second one i was hoping for another uh interesting level like the water one or a, a restless dead or a dark one even though i don't like the dark ones at least they change things up a bit I don't think we're ever going to get as lucky as we did in the first uh, episode when I got that uh, spider silk jar thing just in a crate. Like the very first crate in the game had a power up in it. I've never seen anything like that before. Like, here's a box. It's probably going to have gems. So, yep. Mini gems at that. Because some of the power ups, like the cape, for example, is just, it's amazing. You really can't go wrong with the cape. I would. Ah! Is that really that big of a drop? But the cape would have been nice there. Seriously? <laughs> I miss all the monkeys. There we go. Man, I'm a pro at wasting bombs. Okay, well, at least they're all dead. <sighs> I really don't like bats either. Okay, we're gonna make it out of here. Oh! Okay, just narrowly avoided the simian. And we're going into 2-3. I'm feeling good about this one. Uh, never mind. I'm not feeling good anymore. From a orange frog trying to jump me and explode on me to uh, the fact that this is a dark level with one life left. You know, it, it just it's not meant to be, I don't think. And, you know, it's, you know, you don't always get what you want. And this is one of those cases of that being true. Like, see? 
I'll just get catapulted across the whole level. I got squished by a frog. It was more like the... Well, I guess the frog was what killed me, so... I guess that's not too surprising. Um, I'm gonna go for a swim here. Ah, got it. When I lose a health to a bat, it's just... My whole world just stops for a second, and I... I'm blinded by a red, white, well, I guess a white hot rage that's also red. That's red and white hot. And um, I kind of just want to just give up at that moment and just flail around. But I don't. I push through it. And uh, that's how amazing feats like what just happened occur. Okay. I'm going to have to give up here soon. That's the sad thing. I think. Uh, Let's just see. Let's see. This will, this is my last run. Next time I die, we're moving on to the next uh, episode. So, although it'll be it'll just be more forays into the jungle, uh, I might actually start back at the beginning of the mines and see if I can do like a continual run. I think it's one of those. Oh yeah, seed. Okay, so that's the end.